Yeah, welcome along to uh, Northampton, the county ground in Northampton. It's match 14 of the World Championship of Legends. It is West Indies after that uh, really good win against England yesterday up against Australia. Australia, who will bat first unchanged in, I think, the last four games, led by Brett Lee, an exceptional at the top with Finch, Marsh and Dunk, and the bowling of Coulton Isle, Siddle and Lachlan plus Brett Lee. That's why they're nearing the top and they'll look to try and overtake Pakistan with a win today against the West Indies. West Indies with Darren Sami. Well, they rely a lot on that top order as well with uh, Smith and Walton and Edwards. You'd expect maybe Chris Gale to come in as an impact player and Nurse and Emirates, who is back in as the uh, all-rounder. Taylor and Edwards, who is back today. Which teams will be through to the semi-final? Well, here is the first delivery. Pulled away for a boundary. First boundary of this last day of qualification. Nick, straight the way through. Walton looks at Sammy, Sammy looks at Walton. They both throw their hands in the air. Beautiful shot. Full and straight, got his hands through it. Two gone, 19 without loss. Oh, chipped, chipped. He's got an early wicket. Tino Best, it's a good catch by Ashley Nurse. And Finch has gone cheaply. This time, Ashley Nurse hangs on. A little bit early on it, Aaron Finch. New bowler into the attack. And Ashley Nurse just about gets around to his right. He's always been a sound catcher. Finch, another failure here in Northampton. 19 for one. Oh, that's a nice shot. Nice looking shot, that. Oh, that's a shot. That is a serious cricket shot. Little bit aerial. Second boundary in the over for Dunk. Pulled. It's a really good shot. Picked the, up the length really quickly. Expensive over, 12 from it, 31 for one. Yeah, poor delivery needed just uh, hitting away. Marsh gets another boundary. Hence why Dunk is giving himself a little bit of room, a misfield. And this will run away to finish the over with a boundary. 40 for one. Oh, he's got all of that. He has got all of that. First, ease my trip, six. Oh, that's still on impact as well. That is a classic Sean Marsh shot. Overpitched, lovely use of the hands, lovely timing. Once again, Australia on target. Take the length. Big gap on the onside and Ben Dunk also getting another boundary. Back to back boundaries. Just through the line and flat and will take that. Is my trip six. 11 fours and, and two sixes. It was floated up and, and, and it right in the arc of, of Ben Dunk who has been very, very harsh and hard to these West Indian bowlers. That is flat and it's almost gone all the way with just one bounce, maybe a, a foot or two inside that rope. Catch it, catch it, couple of fumbles and then uh, Kirk Edwards. Uh, Kirk Edwards there, not making a mistake. He had a couple of fumbles and then had it in control. That's what 
I meant when I said this is a better field position because he had deep point and deep cover and he did go across and asked him to hit over the top this was a difficult shot to go over the top he couldn't get the elevation he was looking for Sean Marsh who didn't get much of a strike in the last over or so gone now 84 for 2 one step and uh, one bounce as well into the fence off the back foot and really really big is my trip six to finish the eighth over might be a little early to say but he's on his way to get that the magical three figure in the gap powerfully struck and will take that boundary he's really having fun he's toying with the bowlers he's got no intentions of keeping the ball down that is magnificent head to finish the ninth 13 off it he's got to break this partnership somehow no chance no chance that is massive he's dealing in sixes this man Ben Dunk well, Dan Semi will probably look and do the right thing, take the pace off and try and keep it away from that hitting zone, but it got too close to Ben Dunk. Just the extension of the arms. And got another six, and this one off the back foot as well. It's back to back sixes, it's raining sixes. Another is my trip six. Darren Semi, I think, in the first delivery, three deliveries, he had enough. Two big sixes, massive sixes. Get the shadow. That should be out. That wasn't timed and just chipped straight back to Jason Mohammed. Picks up the wicket of Callum Ferguson. The mentality from Ferguson is just to give strike back to Ben Dunk. And in the end, it's a very, very soft dismissal from Callum Ferguson. He goes for seven from nine. 130 for three. Ball. Well, that's all that Ben Dunk is dealing in now. It's an unbelievably good strike. Oh, well, it's gone fine enough for four more. Just one hit away now, Ben Dunk. Goes down the ground, and that is a simply magnificent century for Ben Dunk of Australia. 34 deliveries only. We saw 100 last night. And uh, well played, Ben Dunk, this afternoon to get proceedings underway. He hits it with a beautiful six down the ground. Gorgeous footwork. Lovely timing. Doesn't try to overhit it. Top tier binger. This time might be out. This time should be taken. Get in, get in. And takes it comfortably. Brad Emirate down there at uh, long on and the end of a wonderful innings from Ben Dunk. Trying to go over cow corner. Toe of the bat really. Actually gets a little bit too close to the ball. It's a good catch in the end. I thought Red Emirate maybe didn't quite pick up the flight of the ball. Yeah, he said I didn't see it. Brilliant from Ben Dunk. That's it, Downtown That's it, and too far. For the man down at long on. Oh, edged. Fine. Race away. It's a chase. Down to Taylor at long on over his head. Not quite out of the screws, but enough. Now, a crucial match of India is lined up in just a little bit. How are you feeling about that? Great response, as always. Yeah, fantastic response. India were here on Monday. The crowd was brilliant. As long as you keep the weather like this. It's the first time we've had some sun in a long time, so we'll enjoy it. Yes, let's all enjoy it. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the game. Thank you. Here's my trip. Six. Comfortably put away over backward square leg. Cut away. Backward of point on the up. And that'll pick up four more. Well, that's through and through for four more at the moment 
Australia might be able to defend something around the 240-250 mark. If they can't do that, things have gone horribly wrong. I think that non for 24. Oh, he's got all of it. Has he got all of it? Just. Another ease my trip six. It's a full toss. But they've got to do something better. They've got to find a way to stop these flow of runs. Has he got enough of that? You bet he has. What a shot that is. It wasn't that bad a delivery. It's just the class of Dan Christian. And again. And again from Dan Christian. <laughs> Tried to go for the slower delivery, just waited for it. It makes batting very easy when you know as a batter that you're not going to get anything short. Oh, stop it. Oh, stop it. That's going in the back garden of somewhere. 50 up for Dan Christian. 50 at one off just 14 deliveries. Strike rate of 364. It's just, it's ridiculous hitting. <laughs> Four sixes in a row. Started with the boundary. Might finish with a six. And now has Ben Cutting got enough of it? No. Kirk Edwards in the deep, just had to get himself and his feet right. West Indies, need, West Indies needed that wicket. For Remrit, it's been expensive, but that one, a little bit disappointed, Ben Cutting, just didn't get enough. Good catch. Ben Cutting out for 22, 217 for five. That's just pure power from Christian. He waited, it was a slower ball, waited. Got it past the man who is on the edge on the offside. Now has he got enough of it? No, it's just going to bounce, but just gets it in the middle. Oh, this is in the air. Who's underneath it? Is anybody underneath it? Keeper wants it, keeper gets it. Emrith picks up his third. It's been so expensive going at 15 and a half, but he's managed to get three big wickets. And that's a great catch. Chadwick Walton still so fit. Pain on for three, uh, five, 231 for six, a straight at Or oh, just hit it straight out of the park. Watch that tandoori oven, will you? We've got to have some of that a little bit later. You're going to get through from there very soon. Absolutely right, Corky. You, coming around the stumps as a batter, I know I've got both options open, and you've got to nail your Yorkers every time. We don't have a lot of other options apart from the Yorker. Has he got it in the middle? Absolutely, has he? This is just ridiculous hitting from Dan Christian. What was that, four or six? Keep your eye on it, it's four. Every time he hits, I just think it's going to be another six. Well, yeah, because it'll all come down to that run rate, Christian, again, once again, first ball boundary. Uh, at the moment, South Africa are just trying to beat India's run rate. Top edge, over short, fine leg, is a boundary. So, four, four, dot, four. He's 85 from 27. Well, he's trying to play properly now and keep it... Oh, no. Straight will be a boundary. One bounce, four. So he's a shot away from 100. Remember, Ben Dunk did it in 34 balls. That'll be a boundary. Got a chance now. 98 from 32. He's got one ball to beat Ben Dunk. Pulled, leg side. He's going to try and run for two here. He'll be run out. <laughs> Just have to check. Oh, he's gone. Decision made, and he's out. So run out for 99. 99 from 35 deliveries, 11 fours, eight sixes. What a performance by Dan Christian and Australia. End of their 20 overs.
having been put into bat by Darren Sammy, 274 for seven. There's been an extraordinary batting performance from Ben Dunk, 100 of 34, and then Dan Christian, 99 for his 35. Yeah, 22 from Marsh, 7 from Finch, 100 from Ben Dunk, brilliant from him, 34 ball, 100 and then was out. Next ball, 99 from Dan Christian, 22 from Ben Cutting, saw Australia get to 274 for 7. Look at the economies, not much to say, everyone's in double figures, 3 wickets for Emirate, but he's gone at 16 and 274, so 275 to get when West Indies champions comes to bat. Might assist a little bit of away movement. Oh, oh. like that. My goodness. Didn't see much of that when uh, the West Indies bowled. Goes down over top of mid on and away to the boundary for four. Smith underway. Just picked it up from outside that off stump. Not this time back with a point for four more. Oh, inside edge and away to the boundary for four. It's gone straight up and straight to short uh, fine leg. Peter Siddle takes the catch and Brett Lee, the skipper, gets the first wicket. Just looking to use that uh, power play, the field restrictions. Wanted to go over deep mid wicket and mid on. Bradley saw him coming down. Kept it really wide. Back of the length then. Nice and easy catch by Peterson. Not sure I'm convinced, but anyway, I'm not in the chair. Kirk Edwards gone for five, 25 for one. Nicely placed in the gap down to uh, third for four. Oh, that was just powerfully struck. Uh, Pissed the man at uh, Lawrence. Lots to play for today. Wow. Bowl him straight away. It's a wild swing and a miss from Chadwick Walton. Just feel it's that breeze, that maybe that drift that he got on that occasion. But Chadwick Walton uh, departs for four. 35 for two. Tries to straight away and will pick up four to get off the mark. Downwind and over the head of deep mid wicket for half a dozen. He's my trip six. It was tough uh, for any batsman to get a hit, but as soon as you give pace to a batsman, you can just trust the pace and uh, the bounce on the surface. And again, that's six more. Sounded really good. He's my trip six again. From outside off stump, down on one knee. Just the wrist of steel coming into action, finding the middle of the bat. Pumped away through the offside. Lovely shot from Jonathan Carter, who's in as the impact player, and he's 20 off six. Oh, that sounds lovely. Really, really good from Jonathan Carter hitting with the win for an Ease My Trip 6. Maybe those floodlights that are beaming into the guy's eyes, maybe they're putting him off. And that sun. S swung away powerfully from Dwayne Smith. I'll tell you what, that raced off the blade. Four bowling, short and wide, and I mentioned third is inside the ring, and it's flayed away for another bound. It's the poor stop from Ben Lockman. Four more, short into the surface, not the right option. We've seen that for three days. Out, outside edge, easy as you like for. Tim Payne behind the pegs. Went with the full length, off cutter. Little outside edge and a simple catch. Eight wickets in the tournament then for Nathan Coulton-Isle.
And it's Jonathan Carter gone for 27. West Indies champion, 78 for three. Slow ball, beautiful slow ball from Dan Christian. He's got a chance of player of the match, Dan Christian. And look at this, out the side of the hand, Franklin Stevenson, the former Knotts and West Indian fast bowler. Just a bowl. Slower deliveries like that. West Indies champions, 81 for four. T-shirt on, Smith goes big. Goes oh big into the leg side, downwind, had to reach for it, but got enough of it. Make my trip. I'd be surprised if that ball will come back because that went in that house, probably landed on the road or landed on the top of that cafe. It's not a Leo cafe. Catch it. What about this one? What about this one? That's also clearing the rope quite comfortably. The strategies changed from so the West Indians. He's got to keep doing, keep going like that. Here you go again. He sweeps this time, and that will be four more. Another one. Massive over. No, he cannot. No, he cannot. It's gone all the way down the ground. Ease my trip. Six. 50 for Smith. 51 off just 35 deliveries. And West Indies champions, 131 for four. Down the ground for six more Ashley Nurse he is finding the boundary now here early they just want to watch this game and see what how this pitch is behaving and they have seen plenty of it got enough of that plenty of it in fact one bounce into the advertising hoardings to end the 15th over 155 for four first up and uh, on the roof 27 6 6 of the game and has beat that record between Pakistan and India in the air now then Siddle taken pace off again and Smith goes to 64 disguises it so beautifully with the upright seam position nice and easy catch to Peter Siddle well bowled Bradley and well played Dwayne Smith for the 64 162 for 5 as 4 slow ball and just uh, worked through third man really nicely by Darren Sammy they will take on third so still lots to play that'll be a boundary to finish so an expensive over but the wicket oh. going going gone high and handsome by Darren Sammy the family's going to be happy the inside edge and will run away for another four in the gap and just goes over for another ease my trip six clean ball on well, the last delivery of uh, this game Darren Sandy got 33 was looking to go big on the offside but uh, really well executed you know, well, Puneet Singh would be a happy man the Australia champions after the very first game uh, Australia would some of the injury issues were finding it tough to get 11 on the park as well we had Bradley's son go out there and help in the fielding as well but uh, all of a sudden they won this game uh, with a big moment and with a big margin as well 219 for 6 chasing down 274 Dr. Smith got 64 of just 40 deliveries Another card at 27 and uh, Ashlyn has 70 from 36 deliveries and Darren Sammy, the skipper, 33 from 18. The pick of the bowling, a little bit expensive from Doherty, very expensive, one for 74. 
and Dan Christian to go with that 99. Three overs, one for 20. Confirmation of uh, how Australia champions won that game by 55 runs. Have a look at that uh, effort by Ben Dunk and Dan Christian. 100 from 35 deliveries and Dan Christian 99 from 35 deliveries. 70 deliveries between those two batsmen and they got to 199. 274 for 7.